sad day in the world of entertainment as we mourn the loss of Wednesday Adams herself, the amazing Lisa Loring. Can you believe it? She was only six years old when she first brought the iconic character to life in the 1966 classic sitcom The Adams Family. And now, at 64, she's passed away after suffering a massive stroke. Jenna Ortega, the talented star from Netflix, has expressed her heartbreak over this loss and took to her Instagram to share her thoughts. She wrote, absolutely devastated. Thank you for everything. And why is this such devastating news to Ortega that much? Well, only if you don't know. But these two have been iconic to the show. Do you think you can keep up with Jenna Ortega? And Wednesday just knew the button to press. Tim Burton certainly thinks so. He says she never blinks on screen. But in between takes, the cast of Wednesday is all about having fun and making each other laugh. With actors like Jenna Ortega as Wednesday, Christina Ricci as Marilyn Thornhill, Catherine Zeta-Jones as Morticia, Luis Guzman as Gomez, Emma Myers as Enid, and Isaac Ordonez as Pugsley, you're in for a real treat. And guess what? The hard work of the talented cast has paid off. Wednesday had just dethroned Dahmer and became the second most watched Netflix show of all time. But don't be fooled, the cast isn't above having some fun on set and laughing at their own mistakes tripping over forgotten lines, breaking character while serenading each other in off-key warbles. The possibilities are endless. Just take a look at Morticia and Gomez. With all these, we can only say that Lisa Loring left an indelible mark on our childhood memories and pop culture history. And even though she's gone, her spirit and her talent will live on forever. According to Variety, Loring's daughter confirmed that she passed away Away from complications from a stroke caused by high blood pressure on January 28, 2023. Now, let's take a moment to remember this incredible talent who brought joy and laughter to so many people around the world. Lisa's friend, Larice Jacobson, announced the news on Facebook and said that Lisa was a beautiful, kind, and loving mother who will always be remembered as Wednesday Adams. I mean, today we're talking and mourning about one of the most beloved characters on Netflix's hit series. And let's be real, there's just something about Wednesday that makes her stand out from the rest of the cast. And before we even explore that, let's take a look at something that perhaps most of you didn't know about her. And this is, what is it about the name that makes her so unique? I mean, when you hear the word Wednesday, what's the first thing that comes to mind? If you're like most people, it's probably the day of the week. But this isn't just any ordinary Wednesday we're talking about. This is Wednesday Adams, the pale, braided pigtail daughter of Morticia and Gomez Adams, two of the most eccentric supernatural beings around. So why is Wednesday named Wednesday? Well, buckle up because we're about to dive into the world of the Adams family and find out. You see, Morticia and Gomez are not your average parents. They're quirky, strange, and love everything dark and macabre. So it's no surprise that their daughter would have such a distinct name. And let's not forget about Wednesday's love for violence, lack of blinking, black and white clothing, and amazing dancing skills. So the question remains, why Wednesday? Or let's put it this way. Have you ever wondered why Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family is called Wednesday? Well, wonder no more. In the first episode of the show, Wednesday's Child is Full of Woe, we finally get the answer to this burning question. Principal Weems comments on the name's uniqueness, but Wednesday sets the record straight. It turns out that Wednesday is named after a line in a classic nursery rhyme, Monday's Child, which was recorded in 1838. Morticia liked the specific line, Wednesday's Child is Full of 
of woe. But wait, there's more. The full nursery rhyme reads like this. Monday's child is fair of face. Tuesday's child is full of grace. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Thursday's child has far to go. Friday's child is loving and giving. Saturday's child works hard for a living. And the child born on the Sabbath day is fair and wise and good in every way. The original 1938 comics by Charles Adams didn't include character names, but when it came time to adapt the Adams Family for their first TV series in 1964, actress and poet Joan Blake suggested the name Wednesday for the daughter character. And that's how Wednesday Adams got her famous name. So next time someone asks you why Wednesday is called Wednesday, you'll have the answer. And if you don't, well, that's just full of woe. But you know what they say, we can't keep a good witch down. So let's celebrate Lisa's life and her legacy in the entertainment industry, shall we? I mean, who could forget that iconic character of Wednesday Adams? That gothic look and her deadpan humor had us all cracking up. So I have a question for all of you. What was your favorite Wednesday Adams moment? Was it when she sang, I'm looking for somebody to love? Or maybe when she scared her father with that life-size doll? By the way, has someone ever compared you with Wednesday Adams? Adams? You heard me just right. I mean, have you ever been compared to Wednesday Adams? With her dark sense of humor and love for alternative subcultures, Wednesday has been a seminal role model for generations of unconventional girls. So if you've ever rocked that black lipstick, you know what I'm talking about. But let's be real, waiting for the new Wednesday series was like waiting for a ghost to appear. Pure agony. Besides, this show has not not only broken records on the streaming platform, but it's also inspired a viral dance trend on TikTok. Can you guess which scene I'm talking about? The iconic dance scene in episode four, where Wednesday Adams showcases her entrancing moves at Nevermore Academy's annual Raven Dance. It's so popular that hashtag Wednesday Dance has surpassed 480 million views on TikTok. And the best part? The song she dances to is the Cramp's 1981 track, Goo Goo Muck. But wait, it gets even better. The dance has also gone viral with Lady Gaga's Bloody Mary. Imagine Wednesday Adams grooving to that. Now, you might think that a trained dancer choreographed the routine, but you'd be wrong. In an interview with Netflix, Jenna Ortega revealed that she created the dance herself. I choreographed that myself, and I think it's very obvious that I'm not a dancer or a choreographer, she said, adding that she felt insecure about the steps. However, her castmates Emma Myers and Hunter Duhon described the scene as their favorite and amazing. Is it now clear to you why Jenna felt devastated about the death of Wednesday? But fear not, my friends, there are plenty of classic Wednesday moments to keep us entertained until even in her demise. Rest in peace, Lisa. You will be missed. Your humor, affection, and love legacy will live on in our hearts and memories. Thank you for all the laughs and for being a 